he's just a hack. He's just an absolute hack. And he gets his ass kicked by his teammates every week. It's just, you know, it's terrible. It's just terrible. Tennessee versus Pitt, we get a, a little bit more of a competitive matchup. And I talked very heavily about how Pitt underwhelmed for me against West Virginia. West Virginia proved more that they are a quality program rather than Pitt proving that they are, deserve to be ranked as the, the, the 13th rank or the 17th ranked program in the country. They narrowly won and more question marks were brought up on if Keaton Slovis is going to be able to get the job done in high pressure situations when the game comes down to the line. Can Keaton Slovis get the job done? I don't think he can. And right now, I believe Tennessee was not ranked coming into this uh, into week one. They are now at the very end of the top 25. This is going to be a nice little added piece to their resume to being a mid-tier ranked team at the end of the season. Tennessee under Josh Eipel has improved, and I, I see them taking a step here where they can very easily beat Pitt. I know last year's game was a hard-fought battle between both these programs, and if I remember correctly, Pitt was the team that won this game. Colin, check that for me if you can. Pitt was the team that, um, thank you for the prediction as well. Check that for me, though, if you can, if you're in front of a computer. This is very different, though. I, I Hendon Hooker, far and away, ahead above Keaton Slovis in terms of quarterback talent. Hendon Hooker has been one of the most under-talked about quarterbacks in the country. There are other guys that have gotten more of a nod. Like Will Rogers has gotten more of a nod, which has never made any sense to me. Hendon Hooker is a fantastic athlete. He has really great touch. And I'm not just saying that, that I got to play against him and I got to see him in person. But yeah, Pitt won 40, 41 to 34 last year over Tennessee. Very different Pitt team. Very, very different pit team. I understand that last week's game against West Virginia was a matchup that was a rivalry, a rivalry that had not been played in a long time. It was a very tense situation. That is a game that we all wanted to watch. It was exciting. But you now place them against an SEC team. You place them against Tennessee. It is not going to be a very competitive matchup. 